come up with another very fun combination of products. This is the Winter Owl, Winter Snowman, and Winter Penguin. And as you can see, in this package you're going to get a stencil and a stamp for the face and a die to cut out the whole shape. And that's true of each of these, giving you a lot of very fun combinations. Here's a tip about the packaging. When you take it out of the large cello bag, each of these things are still in smaller little cello bags. So take your scissors, and if you want to cut along the edge, you can create a little pocket so that your stencil can get pulled out of the package. And with this one, the other pieces are out, and it can slide back in, keeping all of the different pieces together. One of the easiest things you can do is take a fine line pen and begin tracing your way around the stencil. It's best if you hold the pen perfectly straight up and down and with a gentle pressure against the metal edges you can glide all the way around and trace whatever part of the stencil. If you'll notice the way I'm using this I can read the copyrights at the bottom and to avoid um, any wasted time like I did. <laughs> if you flip the stencil over and you can't read the copyright, your stencil tracing is not going to work with the die. So you're going to want to work with it this direction. And then besides just tracing in black and white, you can enjoy using other markers and doing some sun, uh, <laughs> using some sten tangle type patterning with some fine line markers to create some fun little patterns inside each of the shapes. So after you've traced and done some patterning, then you can find the little stamp that will give you the face and putting that on a clear block you can then stamp into um, the space that's given and get a nice impression uh, with the different uh, little expressions. So don't lose your little stamp, tuck it back into your package. We've designed the die to cut a perimeter of white around the outside edge and this balances the interior spacing that the stencil has and it makes it really quick and easy to make beautiful little ornaments and it's a very nice size. You could color and punch it out, add a little tie, and make a nice little ornament that would be beautiful on the tree. And in these cases, I just came up with a way to uh, tie it onto the card. So once um, the person gets the card, if they want, they can slide this off and it's ready to hang on a tree or some other uh, garland for decoration. These have lots of fun glitter in the background that I did with the double glitter technique using the stencils. Another really fun and easy thing to do because you have the die cut is that if you want to cut out some double sided adhesive panel in whatever interesting shape, when you peel away that liner you can first plop down your little character and then in the area behind it you can fill in with any number of interesting micro glitters or uh, multi um, glitter and shaved ice like I used on this one and here it's very subtle on a white background but it's really nice with the shaved ice on the blue background so because it's so easy to get your little character die cut it makes a really nice pop-up card and I've enjoyed going to a smaller square format that's about four by eight inches and then you can use the simplest pop-up from the pop accessories and your little character right there and it could be as simple as that. Over here you can see with the fall colors the interesting printed papers give you some nice options and a couple of little embellishments from the builder wreath and that's about all you need to finish off your card. Over here I used the um, 
interesting frame and the lace idea from using the first pop-up and that creates a beautiful little base and then your little snowman could sit on top and look like he's sitting on a snowbank or something and it's very fun to pop up the penguin and add your little message. The Pop Sessories also has a wonderful little stand die and this folds very easily interlocks, you can tuck the little flaps in, slide it into place, and if you want to glue it onto the back, um, you could put it directly on your little cutout, and when you put it into a card, you can flatten it in the envelope, but then it pops right up to be a self-standing little character or a little placemat. Um, uh, a name card is a nice idea to do with it and on this one um, you can see I did a different color so that it shows up but here I've added a little framed panel uh, a special message or a name and you've got a very fun little uh, name card that's freestanding here you can see several cards that I've made and embellished here's a fun little um, tag and here's another pop-up card uh, with a couple of owls and the little leaves. And here's some more of our, our snow characters. And a couple of these I'll point out that on this one, I'll come a little bit closer. I used the regular paste through the stencil and then simply coming back in with color pencils. I found I could do some very soft coloring, even use a water brush, and create even more pattern and some shading. And on this one, I sort of did a combination of some stencil brush shading and the color pencils. And so it gives you a very three-dimensional effect over the dry paste to just add your color pencils. Mm -hmm.